But God, hair going crazy after it was braided part two because in my last video I had braids and now like I literally didn't take it out for like another day. So beautiful. But anyway guys, today I'm here to do the mid-year book freak out and I think this was like the fourth year that I'm going to be doing this video but it's such a good video and like Chami made such a great tag that so many people get involved in, invested in. It's just something you can continue to do over and over again. But I was actually tagged by Sasha Reed, so thank you girl. She's like one of my bestest friends. So if you want to go give her a subscribe because she deserves more followers, you really should should but thank you so much for tagging me and I loved your video and I hope you love mine but let's just get into the questions because I'm very excited question number one is best book I read so far in 2018 I've actually got two for this because there's a book that I recently read that I decided is one of my favorites of the year so the first one is A Rain in the Earth by AC Gorgon I just really enjoyed this story I had so much fun reading it, and it's about elemental magic and I love the idea of the arranged marriage and the characters and how strong Shalia is and like you would have known that I've been raving about this book for like the past four months since I read it but I love it so much and the other book is Life Life by Jay Kristoff. Like, I really enjoyed the story of this book and the Anastasia vibes and just the idea of the robots. Like, yes, Ezekiel wasn't my favourite character and he was kind of annoying and the romance wasn't the best, but like Lemon Fresh and Cricket and Kaiser and just all these characters and the plot twist was, even though it was predictable to me, it was so good. Like, these two books were my favourites. Question number two is best sequel you've read so far in 2018. And again, I've got two. So the first one is Hunting Prince Dracula by Kerry Mellis And I loved it. I love Audrey Rose and Thomas and just like the story and how grotesque it is but it's so cool and like I just honestly enjoy it so much and like I am so here for the romance as well and I'm so excited for Escaping from Houdini which comes out in September so it's not too far away and I just like I'm so keen like there's so many good sequels coming out in the second half of the year and I'm like so keen for all of them and the other sequel was Traitor to the Throne by Alwyn Hamilton like the whole trilogy got a four stars like average for me but this middle book was actually my favorite so much more got revealed and we got to know a lot more about the stories of the gods and that and how the powers that everyone has and how more in depth this rebellion and battle and the countries fighting against each other got like I just really enjoyed this book and like I'm so glad that I finally read it. Question number three is a new release that you haven't read yet but you want to and I again have two for this so the first one is War Storm by Victoria Adan and I actually have started reading this but I'm only 48 pages in and it's been four days since I started this book. I'm just so intimidated by this this is 657 pages long. I have a readathon coming up on the 20th and there was like five books I wanted to read but I feel like I'm barely gonna get this done by the 20th and it's really really scary but I really need to try I've just had two days off and I have not read anything and I just really need to like get a cracking on with it but the other sequel was Legendary by Stephanie Garber which is a book I am actually really excited about reading and like I love the cover and I just want to know more about this world and the characters and everyone's been raving about it and I need to read it at some point soon Question number four is my most anticipated release for the second half of the year and again I've got two I've just I can't pick one but these are Queen of Erin Darkness by Cassandra Clare and Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J Mass like two big series are ending this year and I'm rereading both of them and these have to be my options and I can't pick one or the other because I'm excited for all of it. Question number five is Biggest Disappointment and it's got to be a tie between Scarlet by AC Gorgon and The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I don't even want to talk individually about these books. I just really didn't enjoy either of them. They're both predictable. The writing in this one is horrible. The characters in both of them are horrible. Like I don't like any of the love interests. The romance didn't really speak to me and I just yeah did not live up to my expectations of these books. Question number six is Biggest Surprise and again I have two but first one is Life Light by J. Christoph. I just didn't expect to love this book as much. I wasn't really sure what it was about but when it first came out like and I heard about it I wasn't really that interested in reading like I was like oh yeah robots whatever I wasn't really a fan but then the Biblio Squad read it so I'm like okay I better give it a go and I loved it like I was actually shocked by how much I loved it. And going on the sci-fi trend I also have Unearthed by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. Again I didn't think it was going to be great it was aliens I was thinking it was going to be a bit boring I wasn't sure how I felt and this was the first book I've read between these two authors like I need to read these broken stars but I don't I don't know like I just didn't expect it like for some reason lately I've just haven't been expecting not to like sci-fi books but I do like sci-fi like it's weird but I really enjoy this story and it's actually the one of the smartest sci-fi books I've read and yeah I can't wait for the sequel. Okay question number seven is favorite new author and I did write AC Gorgon down for this before I actually read Scarlet because I actually wrote my options for this like a little while ago and I decided to wait until it was actually July to film this video but I'm gonna stand by that like even though I read Scarlet and didn't enjoy it Rain the Earth is gonna be one of my new 
new favorite books out there. So AC Gorgon though, like I actually do like her storytelling and like the worlds that she can build. Like she has a really big imagination and I do enjoy that. And it's okay to have a favorite book and a least favorite book by the same author. Like it doesn't really matter if that's how you feel. Question number eight is favorite new fictional crush. And I'm going from Sam from Traded to the Throne and he's also in here at the fall by Alan Hamilton. I loved him. He is the type of snarky character that's actually my favorite. Having my fictional crush be a secondary character was very strange for me because all the other guys that I've read of, like some of them I've already read before and others and I'm like, I like them, but it's like, yeah, whatever. But something about Sam, just he, he got me and I love him. Question number nine is favorite new character and I'm gonna go Lara Jean from all the boys I've loved before by Jenny Hart. I just think she's so adorable and quirky and such a fun character to follow behind. And like her growth throughout the series of being a 16 year old girl going to an 18 year old adult was actually amazing. And I just loved it so much. Question number 10 is book that made you cry. As you guys know, I don't cry in books. I just can't physically have the tears come out. But if I watch a movie adaptation of things, I cry. I've cried in the news. I've cried in kid shows. I just cry if I visually see stuff, but I just can't make myself cry by thinking about it in my mind. So the book that came closest is The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Bass. And you all know why. You all know why. You never want to come to the end of this book because it's horrible and sad and rips your soul out. Question number 11 is book that made you happy. And I'm going to go with Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare because this was a reread and I'm so excited because I've been wanting to reread this book and trilogy for like three years now and I'm so glad I finally did it and it's so beautiful and I love these characters and even though rereading it some things did make me cringe a bit being like oh my god I can't believe that happened like I used to think it was so awesome when I was a kid and now that I'm a bit older it's just like Ooh. but I still had so much fun and it just made me so incredibly happy. Question number 12 is the most beautiful book you've bought or received so far this year and I'm gonna say Ink, Iron and Glass by Gwendolyn Clare and just look at it. Look at it. It's so beautiful. Like just this paint stain and the building and I have not read this book yet. This is one of my anticipated reads and it's about like the power of words and writing and how you can write new worlds and that like a bit of an ink art thing but I'm really excited and I really need to pick it up. Like there's so many books that I have that I just haven't read and it's killing me. Carrying on with that, question number 13 is what books do you need to read by the end of the year? And like literally so many. Like I've only read 40 books so far this year and probably only going to get to another 40 books, which is kind of sad. So like I really need to read Warstorm. I really want to read Legendary. I want to reread the Shadow Me trilogy and actually read Restore Me. I want to finish rereading the Throne of Glass series, finish reading Cassandra Clare books. I want to read Smoke in the Sun. I really have an interest in reading Furyborn. I really want to read Emergency Contact. I want to read Leah on the Offbeat. Like there's just so many options that I I can give you and just a massive TBR and it's just like ah, I really need to try like I just I really need to try so that is it for the mid year book freak out tag for me guys and like I don't know who to tag because generally people just do this tag anyway and like I think everyone's already done it because I came late to the game but if you haven't done it say that I tagged you so anyway guys thanks for watching this video I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys later bye